my channel. For today's video, we are going to be cooking lasagna. And I am so freaking excited because you guys already know I have been teasing you guys on Instagram as well as Twitter and YouTube, letting you guys know that I was gonna put you guys on the most bomb and easiest lasagna recipe that you guys could possibly ever make. So for today's video, we actually have a special guest and it is Karina and she is going to be joining me today to assist with the creation of this bomb meal because Karina actually was the one who put me on this bomb ass recipe. So what better way than to cook lasagna than the queen herself that taught me how to make lasagna. Um, I've always been a huge fan of pasta and lasagna itself and I remember when I was telling her how much I loved it, she was like, I can make some bomb lasagna for you and I was like, okay. For some reason, anytime that I would make lasagna, it was good but it would never just hit the spot or even when I would have lasagna in general, it didn't do anything for me and as soon as I started eating lasagna with Karina's recipe, I used to tell her like what like literally when we first moved, I don't know how many times yeah. she fucking cooked it for me. Can you make lasagna? Yeah, okay, can you make lasagna today? Can you make lasagna today? You know, so finally, finally, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna learn it for myself. I started cooking it and it is so easy. So bomb. The other day you guys saw on Instagram that I was making it and you guys were asking so many questions like oh my god are you gonna put a recipe you're gonna do a recipe and I was like you know what let me share it with you share it with you guys and you guys can go ahead and do it for yourselves so I did go ahead and ask Karina if it was okay for us to share her secret ingredients to this bomb lasagna so she said that it was okay so we were gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how we make it i will have all of her social medias linked down below for you guys as well she does have her own youtube channel as well as her instagram and um like all her handles so you guys can go ahead and follow her i do hope that later on maybe she can put you guys on some other bomb recipes because karina loves to cook and i'm actually excited for you guys to try a lot of her recipes she does a little bit more like seafood and yeah. american food but like they look good. <laughs> yeah. Like was, there was a moment where I was cooking so much. Yeah. But like lately I'm I'm like bored. I'm like I don't know what to cook. Yeah. But but we're excited and honestly we want to make sure that this recipe is super easy for you guys to make at home by no means are we professional cooks or no. anything like that i want to make sure that we emphasize that because i know there's a lot of people who are probably going to do things differently we are not making things from scratch we're not cooking pasta we're not making pasta from scratch or sauces from scratch we're literally giving you guys the easy recipe for working moms that have to come home and make a meal and it's going to taste amazing and delicious so Karina's gonna go ahead and start with the ingredients so you guys know at home what ingredients you guys need to purchase. That way we can make this bomb ass lasagna. Yeah, and this is not the right way to do it. It's our way to yes. do it. Well, my sister's way to do it, and she yeah. taught me, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's bomb, and it's super easy. Like, you know, we're not gonna make the lasagna to scratch. Yeah. That's, not, that's <laughs> not gonna happen today, so if that's the type of video, you know? Yes. Not us. <laughs> so you're gonna start with ground beef. Um, you can get it as lean as you want. We did 80% lean, 20% fat. So for this, to season it, you're gonna do um, Lori's garlic salt, and then you're gonna do Lori's the seasoned salt. Um, salt, just regular salt, and then pepper. And then the key ingredient to this lasagna tasting the way it does is prego, but not just prego, it's prego meat flavored sauce. The traditional is good, but it doesn't hit like this one. I it like has so much flavor, yes. It has so much flavor, guys. This is literally what makes, I mean, even for spaghetti, like if you yeah. do this spaghetti, like it's gonna taste bomb, you know? I feel like for a long time, a lot of the recipes that I've seen myself, that I've followed, um, there's a lot of people who use like marinara sauce or just red sauce, and then they like whip everything up. And honestly, it can get a little hard because if you don't get it to the tea, it won't taste good, you know? Mm -hmm. So it'll taste very bland with not a lot of flavor. So I love that that's already flavored and you know that every single bite is going to taste like meat and like, oh my God, yeah. I'm <laughs> and then the only thing is this one does have like chunks of tomatoes so that's the only thing if you don't like tomato chunks but you can blend it yes this one just it just hits different and um as mexicans we like a lot of seasoning in our food yeah. so <laughs> that just does it for us you know so we actually are going to put ricotta in our um in our lasagna and we do not use the egg method I don't like egg. I don't like egg. like egg. So and by all means, though, if you do want to add an egg, because that's what you're used to, you can yes. add it to this recipe and yeah. it'll still taste good. But we just don't like eggs. So like it makes it a little bit more spreadable and all that. But like, yeah, yeah we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and then we have the lasagna noodles. So we're gonna use barilla, barilla, whatever it's called. Barilla. Yes. There you go. <laughs> but it's a lasagna um, 
the noodle. Mm -hmm. And then for cheese, this is the cheese we use. Um, it's Cheddar Jack, so it's the blend. So it has shredded mild cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And it's the Kroger brand from Ralph's. And then you need mozzarella cheese because that's going to make it like extra yes. cheesy. And I love spinach in my spaghetti. In my spaghetti. <laughs> in my lasagna. I literally love spinach. Yes. And so. it, like, it gives it a little like crunch, but mm -hmm. it's... Yes, I love spinach. And I, that's like one thing that for sure, for sure, we always have to add. Yes. Um, I think one time we made it and then you were like, oh, there's no spinach. And I was like, no! So sometimes for the kids, I make them like a with spinach one. and without spinach. And then we ate all ours. And then the next day we're like, yeah. let's eat lasagna. And I was like, it doesn't taste it the same. It doesn't taste, it, like the spinach just gives it a really good like flavor. I don't know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's weird. weird. So let's go ahead, guys. If you guys are interested in this video and how we're gonna cook this lasagna, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So we did put our hair up. I can realize I don't even the lasagna. Um, don't mind this hole here. This is for my pot filler. Ah, she's fancy now. She's gonna have a pot filler. Tell me you love pasta with that tongue. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So we're gonna have a pot filler uh, here, but it, it hasn't arrived. It's because we had to like um, customize it for the gold that I'm saying too much. But anyways, it's not here yet. Um, okay, so we're gonna start by having our two pots ready. We are gonna have the lasagna cooking already while we make the meat, just to make sure. But we'll probably boil it for a minute while we start cooking because it will. The pasta cooks really, really fast, and we want to make sure that it doesn't start like sticking together, all that good stuff. So we do have our pots ready. So this one's gonna be for the lasagna pasta, and then that's for the meat. Um, we're gonna try to do this obviously helping each other and doing it quickly for you guys that way um this video is not like super super long but as far as like total time for cooking time um to make the lasagna at home i feel like with like a solid like hour and a half you'll be good to make pretty much everything but we are going to add a little bit of salt to the pasta water that way it can obviously you know give it a little bit of a flavor and we are going to add the pasta in there as soon as the water starts boiling. It is hot, you're gonna add your meat. And I promise you I wash my hands. Um, seasonings are to taste. I can't sit here and tell you how much seasoning I put on it because everybody's mouth is different, you know? Everybody's <laughs> taste is gonna be different. But um, we add the seasoned salt. And then it's to tasting, so you're gonna like taste your meat once it's ready. And if you have to add more, you're gonna add more. Um, but you just want your meat to be flavorful, you know? And I'm just going by like, I, and then I'll add as I go. And then you're just gonna break down your meat. You don't wanna oversalt your meat either because you're gonna add the sauce to your meat. So like I said, just add taste, salt to, or like season, whatever, to taste. I love ground beef. Like it just tastes so good with everything, like taquitos. Oh, like, yes. Like, mm, you know what we should do next? The flautas de ground beef that we yeah. make? Mm. Yes. I feel like they're really different. A lot of people didn't grow up eating them, and I feel like it's crazy that we grew up eating yeah, them together. I'm gonna make a sopa for never you one day. Met anybody that made that had taquitos like that? I swear, I'm gonna make a sopa for you one day with ground beef that's okay. seasoning, me, but it has the elbows in it. It's a sopa. Really? I swear okay. to God, it's so good. I grew it's up eating that. Yeah. That's what you grow up eating that sauce. Talk about seasoning. <laughs> Because that's the only beef meat we were able to buy. So we had to make everything out of it. <laughs> okay, guys. So as soon as the water starts getting close to, like, its official boil, um, it's already starting to boil a little. We're going to go in there and actually add some prego sauce into the water. And this is going to give the pasta extra flavor. Don't tell anybody we told you this, okay? It's our <laughs> secret. You guys are gonna start seeing it. It's definitely starting to like simmer already and boil and then we're gonna drop in the pasta. The meat is pretty much almost done. Um, we're gonna go in there and just add the extra stuff as far as like the meat sauce and all that to just get it ready for when the pasta is ready and you guys are just gonna see all of that happen right now. Guys, make sure that you guys separate your pasta when you guys throw it in there because you don't want it to stick. So 
Once your meat is browned, you can tell that it's already getting brown. Um, you want to put it on low and then you're going to grab your meat sauce and this is obviously one of the layers, the meat sauce with the meat. So you're going to add the sauce to the meat. Make it extra saucy. And that's why I said don't over salt your meat because this already has a lot of salt. A bunch of sodium. <laughs> so yeah, you're just going to have salt on top of salt and then you're just going to leave it on the, on the stove so it all gets warmed up together when i tell you guys how easy this recipe is guys like you guys are going to see how quick we made this lasagna recipe and on top of that it just tastes so freaking good like trust me trust okay so not karina and i being excited <laughs> because this is the first time we use um our new oven and we've never had anything like fancy like this <laughs> but this is my first time turning on the oven so bear with me um <laughs> hello <laughs> i think you hold it hello there you go oh, oh. okay Whoa. so lower oven ah! so we are baking at 375 and i think that's it right yeah of course okay. hold on i'm late uh <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking ugly start explosive <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Wait, preheating to 375. Okay. Oh, and it gives you a kitchen timer and an oven timer. What's the difference? I don't know. Me do. Okay. Period. Yay! Oh. Okay, so it's on. So this is the uh, oven down here, and then this is the microwave. So um, right now, when we layer and everything, it's going to be preheated and ready for us to just go. Okay, guys. So we drained the noodles. We also washed the spinach to make sure that... It is ready for us to do our layering, and now you guys are going to see how we put the pasta together. My oven is alerting me that it is ready. <laughs> I was like, what is that? We want to make sure that you guys have a good angle of the actual assembling process because you guys do not need to see our pretty faces for this. You just need to see how the meal is being uh, put together. So the key thing to make sure that the lasagna does not stick to the pan is we are going to put sauce on the pan itself and then we are going to start layering so um i'm going to talk through this whole portion of it and hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory because i don't i don't think we need to be like explaining step by step i'm going to try to fast forward to these like little moments and try to get this lasagna cooked because i am ready so we start with adding the sauce all over the pan and just a little disclaimer when we start this, we mix everything. We don't yes. do a layer of ricotta, a layer of cheese, a layer of this. You don't because you want that bite that it's gonna have everything. So let me tell you guys something, mind you, when I did lasagna <laughs> not that long ago, before I started eating this recipe, I layered my ricotta and then I layered the sauce and then I layered like the cheese. And let me tell you, every time I would cut into the lasagna, I would take a bite and I knew exactly where the ricotta was, especially because the ricotta is so strong that I literally tasted it on every single bite. So when you mix the sauce with the ricotta, every single bite just tastes like it's supposed to be mixed together. So just a little tip. So we want to lay it out nice and pretty just because we also don't want the lasagna to fall apart, guys, because lasagna is so messy. Um, but you guys are gonna see when we cut it what we do to make sure that it avoids that little messiness. Now the meat. Now we're going to add meat. So it's literally to liking, because you can put a lot of meat. Um, I feel like we have a lot of filling all the time, so I don't go crazy with the meat. Um, but you're gonna use the meat and you're gonna use sauce on the side because you want it to be saucy. We do add sauce on top of that because as you guys can see, we want it to be very soft. Okay. So then your spinach, you're actually gonna wanna wash it. So we washed it already and we drained it because you don't want the excess water because then it's gonna make it like poopy. Oh, it smells like somebody farted. No, oh, the cheese. I was like, wait, what? So then um, you're going to do the layer of spinach, and it's to your liking. Fonga likes a lot of spinach. I love spinach. like pretty hard. Dude, we actually eat everything with spinach. Even our pizza when we yeah. go to Chicago, uh -huh. it all has spinach. I love it. 
It just gives it, you know, you need greens in your food. <laughs> I was trying to be healthy, but we really ain't. Ricotta uh, cheese on top. Yes, this is what we're talking about. Ricotta is a little thick. That's why people add egg to it, but can't do that. Yeah. So the ricotta is the only thing that's a little bit messy, so you're literally going to do dollops and you're just going to like. And that's why I feel like it helps that we put the spinach because it kind of just lays on top of it and you can kind of spread it out yeah. as opposed to if we were to just put it mixed with like the so the actual sauce. It's going to like just all like make a wakarel, you know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like vomit. Yeah, so um, we usually have like four scoops, no? We don't yeah. do too much ricotta. You want the taste, but you don't want to like overpower, overpower it. it. Mm -hmm. So then you just put cheese. So you're going to put both of the blends of cheese everywhere. Not me missing. <laughs> and I feel like the mozzarella cheese you need it because it's the one that like the makes it stringy. That, yeah. And that one gives it taste, you know? Oh the cute cooking together. Oh friends who cook together stay together. <laughs> friends and who feed their other friends oh, stay see, together. See. Make your stomach happy. So you don't want to put too much cheese either because the yeah. main part that has the most cheese is the top. So that's literally your layer. That's your first layer. We usually do what, like three, three. layers? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not so So we're going to just redo the whole thing pretty much over and over. Yeah, till you get to the top and then once we get to the top, we'll let you know how that goes. It tasted really good. Yvette fell in love with this. Yeah. She was like, make that lemon pasta. I was like, okay. So for this top one, we are going to layer the pasta and you guys are going to see how the finale looks. <laughs> so the for the top, um, a lot of people just add cheese, but to make your pasta like bind together, you're gonna put sauce on top, but just sauce, no meat. Just to give it a little bit of color. You know? So we actually had enough for another like little uh, pasta. So what we'll do is just do it on the side and stuff. And you guys are gonna see once we're done. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, because the toast is. As long as I can be really pretty, like layered. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Can't wait. Do you think I only had rice and chicken? <laughs> you think it's yes? Maybe. Oh shit. I'm like, well, I have rice and chicken too. <laughs> Aluminum foil, what do you call it? Oropel. Oropel. <laughs> or what do I call it? Aluminium. Aluminium. There's another one. We call it oropel. I call it oropel. I call it aluminium. Or were you asking yeah. that because I, I call it a So the first time I asked Blanca, hey, do you have a um, aluminio? Yes, aluminio? And she was like, huh? And I was like, aluminio? She's like, oh, oropel. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and she's like, that's what I call it. And I was like, I don't know. Is that, is that yeah. not, is that not normal? I don't know. I mean, is it a chacante? Maybe. Because I've never heard that. Is it a mom, my mom thing? Maybe. She calls it oropel. Yeah, I've never, I've never 
for it to be called that. And it's weird because it's like oro, it's not even oro, it's silver. <laughs> up and let me know if you guys think we should you know start cooking a little bit more on the channel um, because we actually have a few little recipes that we would love to show you guys but it was fun doing another cooking with the vetics video again i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and also head over to karina's channel to go show her some love and we will see you guys on our next video love you guys <laughs>